2024 could be an historic year for Canada's involvement in space exploration. The Artemis II mission could take off as early as this November, and a Calgary astronaut will play a key role in the expedition around the moon. Gina Martin has more. Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause for our two astronauts that are going to mark Canada's history in space. In November 2023, Calgary's own Jenny Gibbons was given an opportunity out of this world. Designated as the backup crew member to Canadian astronaut Jeremy Hansen on the upcoming Artemis II mission. Obviously, I was happy when I found out and excited. Gibbon's passion for science and adventure began at an early age in Kananaskis country. I think that was like really early for me. My first memories of wanting to be outside and looking at the sky. Those memories are all so tightly, tightly um, bound to Calgary and Alberta for me. After graduating high school in Calgary, Gibbon studied engineering and worked as an assistant professor at the University of Cambridge. In 2017, following rigorous training, Gibbons and fellow Albertan Joshua Kutrick were selected out of thousands to join the Canadian Space Agency to become astronauts. The ultimate goal in being an astronaut is just to participate in the right mission for your country. She now lives in Houston, but Calgary is home to one of the largest amateur astronomy clubs in Canada, involving hundreds of members like Don Haladiuk. When I was a young lad, being a Canadian astronaut was not even a dream. There were no Canadian astronauts. Now he's amazed at the advancements Canadians have made in the pursuit of exploring the final frontier. Now Jeremy being selected is the first non-American to go on a mission to the, you know, outside the Earth's orbit, and, and Jenny is his backup. I mean, my gosh, this is huge. She's also training to provide support to Artemis missions from the ground as a lunar Capcom, which is a new role for Canada. I think I just have this hunger to learn as much as I possibly can in this time, um, support that crew as best as I possibly can. And while the date is still uncertain, Gibbons will have a lot of hometown support on launch day from near. I will be there in Florida cheering Jenny on. And far. Gina Martin, CTV News, Calgary. And Joshua Kutrick from Fort Saskatchewan has been assigned to Starliner 1, a commercial crew mission to the International Space Station, where he will live and work for about six months. That mission will take place no earlier than the beginning of 2025.